What if you could hire six full-time employees who work 24 seven with no salaries and no HR headaches? That's exactly how I run my business right now. Let me show you how. Before this, I was always hesitant to hire freelancers or assistants. It just felt risky and expensive. So I ended up doing everything myself, which meant spending hours every week on things that weren't actually growing my business. Then I found Marbleism and it completely changed how I work. There are no automations to build, no complex workflows to figure out and no technical setup. In just a few minutes, you can onboard a full team of AI employees that work just like real ones. You talk to them in plain language, you give them instructions, and they keep getting smarter over time. So let me show you the six AI employees that helped me run my business and how I built and managed them. To get started, click the link in the description down below, and you can create your account in a few seconds. It just walks you through a quick setup. After logging in, you'll see all of your employees right here. And let's start with Eva, who is my executive assistant. So email's actually one of my biggest time sucks, and I can spend hours replying to emails in my inbox and Eva has helped me with this considerably. So the first thing she does is she labels everything for you as you can see here so you can see that it's really easy to know what to focus on. You can see these labels right here. But the biggest thing she does is she actually drafts replies for me. So whenever you get an email she'll actually take the first pass at drafting an email back to them and it's always really close and I just need to modify a few things and just say send it out and that alone saves me so much time. Like she's quite smart and really context aware and she's learned the way you respond because she actually reads your entire inbox and so she trains herself on it. So even when there's questions here that can be very technical, she can even answer them. So she learns your communication style, what your business is about and creates accurate drafts that you can then polish up and send back when you're ready. Just ask her and Eva can also summarize the emails you got that day. She can send you reminders, set up calendar invites and even join your meetings to take notes. That's Eva. She's an awesome assistant and probably one I would recommend for everybody. And setting her up is super easy. You just connect your inbox and your calendar and then you can just give her instructions just by chatting with her or you can add some guidelines by filling in her settings section right here. Next up is Sunny, my social media manager. So as a video first creator, I also don't have the capacity to create text and image posts for LinkedIn, X, Facebook. And so that's where Sunny comes in. Sunny creates all of those posts for me with text and custom images and he posts them across all my platforms and schedules everything for me. So you can customize Sunny to work however you want to. If you want, he will give you the topic ideas and you just tell him which ones you like, like a real assistant. So he'll kind of pitch you a few ideas and then he'll go off and create them. And then you have the option of approving them or editing them. The way I like to run Sunny is I've given him a lot of good training on my existing content and I just let him automatically post by skipping the approval steps. So this way I'm not the bottleneck in his creative process. Now, before I did that, I spent a few weeks with him making sure that the content he makes resonates and giving him a lot of feedback. And then when I was comfortable, that's when I did it. And honestly, it's helped me really stay consistent on those platforms where I would have never otherwise done it. And also Sonny will ask you questions to try and get some more content out of you. Like what's on your mind today? Is there something you loved this week or something you did? And again, he's talking about tools because that's my niche, but he knows your niche. So he'll ask you questions that are relevant to you so that your posts can be a little bit more personable. And if you have an idea for a piece of content, you just tell him and he'll make it. And setting up Sunny is super easy. You just connect your social platforms by signing in and then you can tell him your preferences in plain language or you can give him a few extra guidelines here. So next up is Penny, my blog writer. Now I do have a blog and what I typically do is I turn my long form YouTube videos into blog posts. So I repurpose my content, but I also don't have the capacity to do too much additional writing because again, I'm a video first type of creator. And so Penny kind of helps fill in those gaps for me by writing about the topics that maybe I don't have time to cover and even just keeping my blog a little bit more active in between the videos I shoot. So Penny works much like Sunny. She'll suggest topics for you. She'll ask you questions and then you can actually read and approve these posts for her. As you can see, these are long form blog posts with images she's created and she'll even interlink existing content on your blog, which really helps boost SEO and Google really loves this. So you can see here's another post of mine. And it also just helps people find more content of yours. And when you're ready, you can just hit publish and publish to any number of platforms you see here, or you can do it manually if you just wanna copy and paste. 
And just like all the other AI employees, you can give her whatever special instructions you want here, or you can add a few extra guidelines here for her. In fact, you can even tell her the keywords that you want to target so you can enter them here so that she knows what to target if you don't want to just type it to her. I've been using Penny for a few weeks now and I'm already starting to see some traffic from the post she's writing, which is awesome. So next up is Stan, who is my sales associate. Now, if I'm being honest, I don't really like prospecting and I practically never do it. And most of my leads actually do come from inbound content, the content I make here. So from inbound channels, but who couldn't use more leads? I don't think anybody would say no. So what Stan does is he actually goes out and finds relevant leads for you. And then he actually emails them. So you can see, for example, he'll do a pitch. And then when they respond, he can follow up with whatever CTA or protocol you've set up. So I've set him up here to actually book a meeting on my calendar. And then once he gets a hot lead like that, he'll update you telling you, hey, listen, I got a lead for you. I booked a call on your calendar. And just like all your other assistants, you can really customize the way he works. So right off the bat, you can see all the sales templates he's already written for himself that you can customize. If you want to tweak the way he's reaching out to these leads, you can fine tune his lead filters to make sure he's targeting the most high quality leads that are relevant to you. And of course, you can just tell him in plain English if you want him to figure out that targeting for himself. And you can set him up so that he just finds leads and works on his own and lets you know when he books a call or does whatever step you need him to do, make a sale, whatever you want him to do. Or you can have him show you the leads and you can approve which ones he reaches out to. So again, it's customizable to the way you want him to work. So I've been running Stan for a couple of weeks now and he's actually already booked three calls for me, which in a business like mine, which is B2B, low lead volume, high lead value, that's great. And setting up Stan is super easy. All you gotta do is give him an email address he can use to do his outbound and customize the templates he writes if you wanna tweak them a bit. Next up is Rachel, my receptionist. Now my business isn't really one where I get a lot of inbound phone calls, but if you do run the type of business where you do get a lot of calls, maybe you have a contracting business or any kind of business that serves maybe a local community or it just makes sense to have a phone number, then Rachel can actually answer the phone for you and provide accurate information to the callers. Like she can book meetings for you. She can answer questions. She's trained on all your materials and it's actually pretty cool. In fact, let's call her right now and you can see it in action. Hi, this is Rachel from Solopreneur Digital. How can I help you today? Hi, I'm wondering about uh, an AI automation and I was wondering if uh, I could get a quote and I could get in touch with Kevin. Absolutely, I can help with that. Could you tell me a bit more about the type of AI automation you're interested in? And yeah. would you like to schedule a call? Yes, I'd like to schedule a call and I'm looking for a social media automation. Great, thanks for sharing. I'll help you set up a call with Kevin to discuss social media automation and get you a quote. Could you let me know your name and the best time for you to chat? Sure, but actually, can I ask you a question? How much does this usually cost? That's a totally fair question. Pricing can vary a lot depending on the complexity of the automation, the platforms you want to connect. And you get the idea. So she would have just gone through, got my email address, got my name and set up the meeting, added it to my calendar. And you can see she can answer questions. I've trained her that, you know, this is a custom thing. So she's not going to give a price. Um, and you can see that she just hit me up with an update that there was a caller and what they asked about and everything. And of course, I cut the call short because I don't want this video to be too long. But she's actually pretty awesome if you have a phone based business. And the best part was she sets up in like five seconds. So she already has created a phone number that you can just put on your website or wherever that you can call. And because she's already read your whole website, she already knows the answers to most of the things that you would need to. And if you ever want to give her more information, you just feed it to her right here. Just tell her, copy and paste whatever you want her to know. And that's it. I actually did put her on my website for about four or five days and she did book one meeting for me, even if that's not really my process. So it was pretty cool and I'm considering trying it again and leaving it up on the site. And my sixth AI employee is Linda, who is my legal assistant. Linda is like a first pass lawyer. She's like a legal gut check I use when I don't really need a full lawyer. So I deal with a lot of contracts and partnership agreements and so 
Linda can just draft agreements if I ask her to. And if I give her an existing agreement, she can flag some strengths and some possible areas for improvements. She can draft new language if I want to change a clause. And because Linda is trained on my business, she has a lot more context for what kinds of things you would include in a type of business like mine to keep me protected. And you can even give Linda past contracts and everything else to train her on to really just have her responses be even more fine-tuned. And any documents she does create or review for you, you'll see right here. So those are the six AI employees that help me run my business. And here's the thing, while you could probably piece a lot of this together with ChatGPT, building custom agents, or a bunch of separate tools, that takes a ton of time and technical know-how. Marbleism makes it intuitive and human. It feels like you're onboarding real employees you can talk to in plain language. Now here's the thing, each one works pretty well right away because it's automatically trained on your content, but to get the most value, you'll want to fine tune their instructions and train them just like you would with a real hire. And over time, they'll adapt to you, learn your preferences and become even more effective. And if you check out Marbleism, keep this in mind. You don't have to start with all six at once. Start where you feel you have the biggest gap. Maybe it's your inbox, your social posts, your sales or blogging. Then onboard that one AI employee, get them working for you and then expand your team from there. You don't pay per AI employees so there's no reason not to really try and use all of them. If you found this effective do me a favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. Speaking of which Sunny the AI social media manager can help you create amazing image and text posts but if you want a 100% automated way to create video posts check out this video right here. I'll see you in there.